How is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me once again, looking at a, another Collective Arts beer today. I've uh, been drinking tons of beers from them recently, uh, as my buddy Ben sent me a bunch of them, and for that I am super appreciative. I've uh, been uh, reviewing a bunch of their hoppy beers, moving on to the sours now, and I think I have a few dark beers from them as well to review and uh, should be interesting. But uh, yeah, really been enjoying their beers. Um, they're out of uh, Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. And uh, this beer is Mash Up The Jam, a dry hop sour. I'm guessing kettle soured, who knows, but uh, I'm guessing kettle sour. 5.2% uh, alcohol by volume, they're using Vic Secret. Citra and Mosaic Hops in this beer, and uh, I love Citra Mosaic Hops. As I said in the uh, unboxing video, don't really know much about Vic Secret. I think they're a, a New New Zealand or uh, Australian hop. Um, I've had a couple beers with them, but I really don't remember much about it. Nevertheless, uh, excited to get more familiar with Vic Secret Hops. Um, as per usual with uh, Collective Arts, um, amazing artwork to this one. Really, really cool. Yeah, uh, it was provided by uh, Flux Malloy in Kalamazoo, uh, Michigan, I believe. But, um, am I? Whatever that means. I think Michigan. But, uh, yeah. 5.2%, uh, Vic Secret, Citra, and Mosaic. Uh, sounds really good. I've had a couple of these over the uh, weekend and uh, really enjoyed it. I don't remember a whole lot about it because there was quite a large amount of beer being consumed. But um, yeah, really enjoyed it when I had it. That's all I remember. Uh, it's super fresh right now at a little less than three weeks old. So yeah, um, let's get it cracked or see how it is. Wow, pours super, super hazy. But uh, really light as well. Um, yeah, pours that uh, almost New England kind of haziness, super juicy like lemonade kind of color to this beer, almost like pineapple juice, something like that. Super opaque. Um, yeah, super bright too. I can't believe how bright that beer is. That looks awesome. It looks like juice. A uh, finger of a quickly dissipating bright white soapy kind of head. Let's get an aroma. Oh wow. Super pungent like boysenberry. Yeah, boysenberry, like a uh, gooseberry, like really pungent uh, berry kind of hop aromas. I'm getting like dill and basil as well, this herbaceous green kind of thing. That smells like lemonade with some berries in it and uh, some herbs in it. Smells friggin' awesome. Let's try it out. Cheers. Oh, wow. Wow. That is amazing. That's like a journey across the palate. This beer is <laughs> really cool. Tons of com complexity to it. Right away I'm getting a, a super tart, sour, like an enamel ripping a tartness to this beer across the uh, front of the tongue. Wow, really puckering. Uh, yeah, big sourness, lemon, lime, uh, almost like a uh, sour grapefruit, something like that. Then it goes more into like the herbaceous, hoppy kind of qualities. A bit of like tropical fruit, I want to say mango, pineapple, that kind of thing going on. Yeah, I really want to say dill in this. I mean, that really green, hoppy kind of flavor. Uh, sides of the tongue there, roof of the mouth. And then towards the back, it starts getting really sweet and all the sourness just fades. It's really cool. It's super, super crushable. Yeah, back of the tongue, getting that sweet kind of like a, a malty, bready kind of like honey. Um, yeah, like a honey, something like that. This um, white bread kind of thing going on. That is a really, really good beer. That is super freaking crushable. Mm. 
Wow, it tastes like adult lemonade. I mean, that is absolutely awesome. Yeah, I like that. That is something you could easily crush like four or five tall boys in a night, you know? Huge complexities to the beer. Usually these like, I'm guessing it is kettle soured based on the flavor I often get. Uh, th these kind of flavors in kettle sours. As a rating on uh, Mash Up the Jam from Collective Arts, I'd uh, have to go... <sighs> a super intensely sour which I love, but then it fades into a really nice sweet like wheat beer kind of quality. Really, really cool. It's got that kind of tropical fruit, the uh, um, herbaceous qualities from the hops. I really dig this beer. It's like a New England IPA meets Berliner Weiss, you know? And if that sounds too good to you, you will really enjoy this beer. Mash up the jam, dry hop sour as a rating. Um, yeah, I love both kind of styles that this is kind of, uh, blending, and, uh, I'd have to go, like, a 91, 92, uh, A- minus kind of rating, really, really good. So, let me know what y'all, uh, think of this beer, any of Collective Arts' other beers. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again to Ben for sending this beer out to me, and until the next time, cheers, everybody.